talk about users. You do have the ability to create your own um, users. In fact, every tech or administrator should have their own login. Now, Kaseya does charge for those logins, but it really doesn't work to try to share them. If you had guys that were using them at completely different times, maybe you could get away with sharing a single login. But th there's two things that you have to be aware of. First of all, um, Kaseya doesn't share well when they're both using it at the same time. When you, if, they, if each of you log in and one of you changes to um, a, a particular group, all of a sudden the next guy refreshes his, his machine, next thing you know he's in that group. Or when one guy logs off, it logs the other guy off. So it really does not work to share these. You need to have separate accounts. And most importantly, you want to have separate accounts so that you can track uh, what they're doing. You know, it's kind of an audit trail. Now, I do want to introduce two concepts to you, and that is the concept of a role and a scope. And you don't need to memorize these. I just want to make sure you, you, you kind of have them in the back of your mind that these are capabilities of Kaseya. We can help you create these roles and scopes down the road if you, need, if you need help with it. A role is basically the modules and functions that you want to restrict the user to. Let's say you want to hire somebody to do patch management. We can create a role that only gives them access to, say, the patch management tab, maybe a little bit on the agent tab, but that's it. They can't run reports. They can't change monitoring. They can't set up users. It's going to be restricted to just a few modules. That's called okay. a role. What modules and functions they get to use. The second one is called scopes. The scope limits them to what machines you want them to see. Um, an example of a scope would be, uh, let's say you have a customer that has uh, an internal IT support uh, person. And that person's there, he's doing all the desk side support, but he's really not a server person. You know, he's really not there, he's not good at servers. So they bring you in and they want you to manage the servers for them. Well, what you're going to do is introduce Kaseya to the whole organization. Now, you're probably not going to be able to charge like your typical all-you-can-eat on the workstations, but charge them something. Introduce Kaseya, cover, at least cover your costs, and teach the internal guy how to use Kaseya to monitor and work his desktops. You'll change his life, I guarantee you. Now, when we do that, you don't want this guy. We're going to create a user for that, for that login, for that, uh, that extra um, guy. We're, you're not going to let that, that um, uh, it, it, you know, administrator have access to all your other companies, right? You don't want him to see all your other clients. So we're going to create a scope that restricts him to just that group. All right, and that's the concept of, of a scope and of the role, all right? And, and now, those are some, yep, go ahead. Yeah, just you know, when I'm creating these roles and scopes and stuff, and, and you know, I, I like to trust that, you know, what it tells me they're going to see is what they're going to see, but, like, do I have to create their account and then sign their account to see what their role can see, or is there... I, absolutely, yeah, I would definitely check it out before you hand it over to them. Just when you create the user, you create the role first, you create the scope, then you create, you know, the user... And what you're going to do is log in with that user, poke around, make sure that he's not seeing anything that he shouldn't be seeing, always test it. And then if you have any problems, just open up a ticket with us and we'll help you go through it and figure it out. Okay, so yeah, right, definitely in, in, inspect uh, what you expect. Always good advice.